So we're going to use a knife. So I'm going to score around, and that's score, not saw. So I'm going to score around the outside. Again, I don't know how sharp this knife is. I've just got it out of a toolbox. I score all the way around. Then what I'm going to do is just fold it in half like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure. I'm just going to rock my knife over until I get it to burst. So it just burst there. So I'm going to move it round to another area, into another position, gently take my knife and just get it to burst through. So just pressing nice and gently. No rush at this stage. Students will be pressing too hard and potentially damaging the inner PVC. So it's burst again. Move it around to a different set. Oh, already it's burst before I got there. And you can see now, with not a lot of effort, actually just with a few burst holes in there, I've actually got it so I can pull it off. And that comes off really easy. Remember this white powder that you see in there is French chalk and it stops the PVC here sticking to the PVC on the outer sheath. So the outer sheath's been removed and we've now got our inner PVC covering our class five conductors. These are fine stranded conductors, five stra fine stranded copper. So they are a class five conductor. They're very flexible, which makes sense, doesn't it? Because this is a flexible cable. So I need to work out its length. I'm gonna go with approximately just there for its length. Hold my finger in there. I could mark it with my nail. So if I try and press it in there, I've got a little dent in there. And then I'll bring in my knife. And because it's fine stranded cable, you've got to be really careful how hard you press now. So I can almost feel the, the touching of the copper, but obviously I don't want to run too hard into it. You can just feel the difference as you go round. And it's a case now just checking you've gone all the way round. It might be that you can just pull it straight off. You might want to use a, a pair of pliers or soy cutters. I bring it in, maybe my side cutters, and I'm just gonna hold it and pull it away. So you see how easy that pulled away. And what I don't wanna see now is all the copper strands coming off. So sometimes the students like to leave the last bit on. So if you leave the last bit on, and then you can twist it nice and tight, but none of those strands broke away. So this is gonna be longer than we need it. So if I cut this one just, I'm gonna use the one that I was trained and showed how to use. I'm gonna use a pair of side cutters in order to remove the outside PVC here. Exactly the same as before, we're gonna bring it into position and we're gonna have it longer than we need it to be. So that is longer than we need it to be. And I'm just gonna nibble round and expose my conductors and attempt to lay them in as neatly as I can. It is a challenge. So Psycho's used a knife last time. So I'm just gonna nibble just a little bit. It's not very deep. I'm just gonna nibble that outside PVC all the way round. Okay. So you can see I've nibbled into it, bring it round, nibble, okay, until I've got there. And then what I can do is the same technique as I did before, where I just fold it over and see it burst through. But obviously we don't want to be nibbled into the conductors. We take off this mechanical protection. We said it could be white or black. We used to see in the black one maybe where we've got our Xbox and TV. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my side cutters. And this is tricky. I, I recommend if you're going to use this style of way of doing it to practice with a piece of flex before you go into your plug top. So I'm just going to shorten it a little bit. It's still way too long. Bring it into the area in which I've nibbled. Just make a little mark and hold on to it and just pull that away. 